okay i've got my icing on the cake the crumb coat is on if you think you it's a bit too much you can use a bench scraper and you just go around to make it smoother and to remove any excess if you have a turntable you can use your turntable so that it makes it easier okay before i put my cake away i'm using bubble wrap for this uh, tutorial so you get a roll of bubble wrap and go around your cake and measure out the size that you need for your cake this is also quite tall so i'm going to cut it so i'm going to put this to the side while i work on the chocolate I'm going to melt some chocolate in the microwave. To see how to melt chocolate in the microwave, look at the video above. I've cut out my bubble wrap. I'm going to use the texture side because there are two sides. There's a smooth side and this texture side. So I want some of the texture. So I've melted my chocolate and I'm going to spread some on there. It mustn't be too thin because if it's too thin, it will break when you lift it up. Just pour it on. I'll leave some in there because I'm not sure how much I need yet. And I'm going to start spreading some on there. You see, this is quite thin, so I will come back to it and add more chocolate. Leave a border around the edges so that you can hold it and it's less messy. I've spread some of the chocolate on here, but you can see the texture of the bubble wrap under the chocolate. So I need to add some more so that it's completely covered. Because if you can see the texture, that means it's too thin. Okay, I've put all my chocolate on here. Now I'm going to leave it to set, not completely, just for until it's firm enough to lift up without dripping so that you can wrap it around the cake. Okay, so you want it uh, set but not too set. Okay, so now I'm going to wrap it around the cake and leave it to set completely. Okay, the chocolate has been setting for a while. It's not completely set, it's still quite sticky, but it's thick. It's quite thick, but it doesn't run off the bubble wrap. I'm going to get my cake. Just put this to the side. And I'll get my cake. I'm going to dip this and put it on the cake. You can eat it later on. But the main thing is to put it on the cake. And you press it down like that. And you just turn this. Now, I need to leave it on the cake to completely set. You see the pattern? It's showing. But yeah, you need to leave it to set. So you might have to leave it overnight or for a few hours. So you just press it onto the cake so that it stays like that. Okay, the cake has been setting. I put it in the fridge. You can put it in the fridge for the chocolate to set quicker. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm going to try and peel it off. I put this, I let this overlap, but you shouldn't. Okay, so this can be the back of your cake or you can cover it with some decorations of some sort. So 
or you should just let it touch so that it doesn't overlap so it makes removing this a lot easier this is my first time trying out this design so for next time i know what to improve on Okay. It actually looks quite good. Better than I expected. Like that. So you can cut this off to even it out, but I think I like this look. I'm going to leave it and then you can just decorate the top anyhow. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.middlebrownbakery.com. Please like and subscribe to my channel.